This question uh, is about burst voltage regulation and this is an assignment question uh, requested by a student from Canada. So let's see the question. It's related to single phase transformer. A single phase transformer has these parameters and uh, ZSH given and we have to find these three things uh, we'll do or discuss one by one and also uh, question answer is given so we'll try to uh, meet the requirement of the answer so this is the first thing the 43 kva transformer and we can just show it like this so 43 pi is the power 2300 slash 2300 so 2300 is the primary side and 230 the secondary side 60 hertz transformer and parameters referred to the high voltage sides are given here so let's draw the equivalent circuit referred to the high voltage side so this is the primary or vp this is avs and this is our high voltage parameter now remember these parameters are the transformers parameter inside the or the resistance etc of the coils okay and we have to determine the worst case voltage regulation for full load now this bothered me a lot this took a lot of time to find what is worst case voltage regulation means so let me just simply explain uh, when we connect a load current flows through this and there is a voltage drop here and so the voltage regulation which is uh, v input minus v output divided by v output uh, there will be some some change some value maybe one percent two percent but the worst case means what is the maximum voltage regulation that is allowed so it is the maximum voltage regulation and this is the formula that i was talking this is the uh, voltage regulation formula there are many this is just for your, your reference now these are the two equivalent circuits this is referred, uh, referred to the primary side which our question is related to but there is another one referred to the secondary side now look these green boundary i'm using uh, just to explain the theory you don't have to write these in your exam questions and i will ref refer to the secondary side i'll use to explain the theory part because in one of my videos i have taken or i have considered this but the primary voltage you can see from here is the vp and by kvl we can write this avs and the voltage drop here Similarly, we can write for the secondary as well, but here we'll follow uh, this phasor diagram that I had explained in uh, a video, for example, 2.5, and you must watch this video, especially from time 11.45, 11 minutes, 45 seconds. There I have explained what is this. Okay, just briefly, uh, this is the input and if we keep it bring closer to the output then ps will have this portion added actual graph is like this but if we bring it here this portion will be added and this portion is r equivalent is cos theta plus s equivalent is sin theta that means this one or the uh, VAP primary will be approximately equal to VS and plus these two terms. So we'll use the, the, this equation uh, to find the angle. And we are using this for the secondary. So uh, what we'll do, we'll manipulate this. We'll bring S on the left hand side. So this is VP over A and VS. So this is the numerator of uh, 
this uh, voltage regulation equation. And so we can write the voltage equation uh, in terms of, in, in, in place of numerator, we'll now write this. And denominator is Vs. And this we can further uh, subdivide these this two portion. So we were here, and now we need to find the worst case or the maximum voltage regulation. So if you remember from the calculus, to find maxima, we would differentiate the function and we'll equate it to zero. Same technique we're going to follow here. We we'll differentiate Vr, D of Vr with respect to theta, and we'll put that equal to zero. So D of Vr with respect to theta means we have to differentiate this, and actually differentiating the cos and differentiating the sine. So this we are getting after differentiation, D of cos will be minus sine and D of sine will be cos. And now I'll put this equal to zero to get the maximum or the worst VR. And from here, we can move the negative side on the other side. And then we divide this and take this on the other side. We get this equation. And there are many things which get cancelled, IS, IS, VS, VS. So we'll get X equivalent divided by R equivalent, and sine over cos will be 10 theta. So from here, we can say that the angle is tangent universe X equivalent divided by R equivalent. Now I have taken help from uh, this website, very good website. I strongly recommend that you go through this very easily explained. Okay, so this is the condition for worst voltage regulation. So angle has to be this one. Now, when you start the question, you can straight away start that we know that the worst case voltage regulation theta will be this. And then you plug in the values from the equations given for uh, Z. So this is uh, X is 1.2 and R is 1.8. So we get the angle 33.69. We could have used this relation and plugging in finding the IP and plugging in the value of theta. But there is a simple one as well. So I'd like to use that. From here, you can see that VP is AVS plus this voltage drop. So AVS plus IP are equivalent, Z equivalent. And from here, if you move AVS on the left, then this is our uh, VP minus AVS is equal to IP are equivalent. And if we look at the uh, voltage regulation equation, from here, Vs no load, Vs full load, we can write it as VP minus AVS and divided by AVS. Now VP minus AVS, we can write IP R equivalent. So IP R equivalent, J equivalent AVS. And we were here, so now we'll plug in the values. But first of all, we have to find the current IP. So IP current is the power 43 divided by the voltage. So IP is 18.69. Uh, if we wanted to write it in a phasor form, we could have written the angle also that we calculated. But since we'll be only using magnitude for calculating the voltage regulation, therefore we just write the magnitude. And so the VR equation will be 18.69, this one I, multiplied by R equivalent, Z equivalent from here, and multiplied by AVS, A is 10, the ratio and Vs is uh, on the second side 230. So using this, the voltage uh, regulation is 1.75793%. And the answer given in the book, we are very close to that, is 1.7584730. So we are very close to that answer.
Now coming on to the second part, what is the power factor for the case of worst regulation? So this was the value of the VR. This is the worst and power factor we have to find. We had already calculated the angle. Power factor is PF cos theta. We had calculated the angle from here to be 33.69. So we'll plug in that angle. And so this is our answer for power factor. And here also we are very close to the answer given in the book. So 0 0.832. And now coming on to the third part. What is the power factor angle to have the voltage regulation almost equal to zero? Now we are going the opposite way. We want the voltage regulation to be zero. We know this is the equation. And if you want to make it zero, then we have to put it equal to zero. And from here, we can say that the numerator is equal to zero. IP, IP, we take out from here. And we move x to the right hand side and from here we can write that r divided by minus x q is sine theta divided by cosine theta and sine theta divided by cosine is tangent theta therefore from, from here theta is tangent inverse r equivalent divided by minus x equivalent plugging in the values from here R equivalent is 1.8 and uh, X is 1.2. And so the angle is minus 56.30999. And the answer given in the book is also very close. He is taking absolute value. That means there is no need of considering minus. That is 56 point. He has got 81399. We are getting uh, 0 0.30999. So I hope you have been able to follow this. I know it is, for me, it was very tough. So let me know through your feedback how you feel. Thank you.